for the triage segment alert that we've seen in either Iron Defense or in Splunk, for example, pivoting from the dashboard in Splunk, the SOC analyst is brought right to the alert in Iron Defense from which additional investigation can be done. So for the alert on the screen now, we can see details such as the overall severity score, like 930 in this case. Uh, we can see network tap just to the right of that. We've also got an overview of the techniques and malware families detected. Uh, so providing an overview and a description of the activity for people who aren't familiar with credential phishing or IronNet and the alert that's generated. Additionally, the alert also shows associated events in the bottom right and other metadata about the activity. So we're bringing together all the information about the alert that was detected, the events that contributed to it to provide explanations, summaries, easy access to drive understanding to help with alert fatigue. Now, one of the pieces on the upper left, if I go ahead and look at the alert, I can see a summary of the alert in the upper left where it says access credential phishing, I've got the score, the ratings. Now, one of the things about this particular alert is as I'm starting to triage it, I wanna make sure that teams don't duplicate work or investigation. So I'm gonna go ahead and click up at the top, open for review. And I can say, for example, starting triage. And so what this is going to do is it's going to go ahead and change the status to under review. And it's gonna add a little purple flag in this icon up on the left-hand side, which is under review. So now other people who are also looking at alerts that are coming into the system, they can see somebody else is working on the alert. They can move on to the next one, for example. And so the next step is I can also see from this alert, now that I've taken ownership of it, um, that in communities or other groupings, we talked about oil and gas and energy, for example, uh, there's a little green icon that says, yep, this alert's been seen by multiple communities. Somebody else has actually seen it and rated it as malicious as well. If I click on Iron Dome, I can get an overview that the energy company that saw it and the oil and gas company that saw it, in this particular case, the date of first and last seen uh, is June 12th. And so other people have seen this alert. It's been detected in their environment. If I go all the way to the right, I can see they've rated it as malicious. And they basically have had a head start to review, investigate, and triage. And they might even share findings, which if I click on comments, I can also see that those companies that have done their investigation have shared some details. For example, domain masquerading as a secure mobile Facebook page, eliciting user credentials. They looked in raw traffic and that the user did enter their credentials and they took some next steps like blocking the domain, for example. And so we've got comments about why they thought something was malicious, what they checked, which is shared in real time with everybody in the community. So you can go ahead and take those steps yourself if you wanna go do some additional investigation. So the collective defense is very much like a collective SOC. When you see it, when you triage it, if you rate it, everybody gets that information. When you add comments, everybody gets that information. So we're gonna go ahead and click on overview and take a step back. And we'll go ahead and click on view full event to see more details about the activity in our environment. And so just like before, we've got a summary of the different activity components. It was HTTP post. It was going to this mobile facebook.com site. We can see what source it came from. Uh, we talked about the fact that with credential phishing, we're looking for suspicious domains or variations on domains. It could be financial, it could be social media. In this case, m.facebook.com looks normal. Everything else does not. The second part that we're looking for with credential phishing is the characteristics of the communication. And in this particular case, down at the bottom, we've got a summary of the post activity. So I can see the get, the post, I can see that very long domain that is not facebook.com. And at the end, ending in things like sign in HTML, finish login HTML. So all things giving the analyst an overview of somebody inside went to a domain that is not something good outside. And here's a summary of the kind of communication and why we thought it was suspicious.